Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw inside a shape. Let's open a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. You can draw inside any of these shapes or you can create your own. Today I will be drawing inside the text. Go to the Type tool and click on the Artboard. Select one of the bold fonts increase the font size and type your text. Notice the three icons at the bottom of the toolbar. We will be using the draw inside mode. This option is not available until you select your shape. So go to the selection tool, click on the text and then click on the icon. The Illustrator marks the area with the dashed line corners. Click away from that area and you are ready to draw inside. Select the Pen tool, change the fill color and start drawing. Next select the Rectangle tool and let's draw a small rectangle. And now let's use the paintbrush tool. Click on it to select it, open the brushes panel and select the round brush. Let's change the fill color to none and draw a line. Let's say we want to change or delete some of the paths we drew. We go to the direct selection tool and want to select the part, but it's very difficult. The easiest way to do it is to use the layers panel. Click on this little arrow pointing right to open all the sub layers. When I go back to my text, it is still hard to select anything. To fix it, go to the layers panel and let's temporarily lock the text layer. Now I can select the individual paths and modify them. Let's say I want to delete this rectangle. Click on it to select it. Go to the Layers panel and you should see the big blue square and a double circle next to the selected path. Click on the path, hold and drag it down to the garbage bin to delete it. And let's do the same with the top shape. Click, hold and drag it down. Now let's modify this pink path. Click on it to select it. Let's move the end anchor points down. And we can add a few extra anchor points. Select the Add Anchor Point tool and click on the path to add a few anchor points. Now, using the Direct Selection tool, you can move the anchor points where you want them to be. Now, let's say I want to change my brush to something different. With this path still selected, go to the Brushes panel Click on the Brush Libraries menu icon, go to Borders, Borders Novelty and choose one you like. I will choose Mixed Bouquet. Now, if you want to go back and draw inside again, you need to go to the Layers panel, unlock the text layer and click on the circle next to it to activate it. Now, click on the Draw Inside icon and you are ready to draw. Let's add a few more strokes. Now lock the text layer. Go to the Direct Selection tool and click on this path to select it. Now open the Stroke panel and increase the stroke weight to 3 points. Now select this path and change the stroke weight to 4 points. Let's add another stroke. Select the Paintbrush tool, unlock the text layer and click on the circle next to it to activate it. 
Now click on the draw inside icon and draw another path. And again, go to the direct selection tool, lock the text layer and click on the path to select it. Increase the stroke to three points and let's make a copy of this layer. Click on it, hold and drag it down to the create new layer icon. And now we have two layers on top of each other. Go to the selection tool to select the top layer and now you can move it, rotate it and adjust it the way you want it. Now go to the direct selection tool and select the bottom path. And let's change the fill color to green. Now let's change the color of our text. First we need to unlock the text layer and then click on the circle next to it to activate it. Now change the fill color to whatever you like. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.